Hi and welcome back to another video. First of all, I'd like to say Merry Christmas to you wherever you find yourself. I hope 2022 was good to you and hopefully the coming year that is 2023, we're looking forward to more great stuff. So I also would like to apologize for staying away from the you know, camera for some time now. Normally when it gets to the end and part of the year, there are so many things I have to wrap up with. So that's one of the things that has you know, actually kept me away from the camera. So. Um, also, this is likely going to be my final video for the year 2022. So uh, after this video, if I'm able to make any more videos for this year, hopefully in the coming year 2023, I'm um, promising you more great content, especially construction related content, real estate content. So we are able to learn from that. So let's get into today's video. Um, today's video, I'm just going to be talking about the Tanda conduct I spoke about some time back. If you could recall, that is if you've watched my video about uh, when we had a Tanda strike and then, you know, our solar system going off. Yes. So the solution to that was the need for a Tanda conductor. So yes, finally, we've got a Tanda conductor installed. So as you can see in the video from the top all the way to the bottom. Now there are different components or different materials that make the whole Tanda um, conductor solution. So from the very top, we have the Aresta, which is like a pole with three, you know, um, sides, like three short poles. Yeah. And then um, at the base of it, we have something that is holding the tunnel. From there, we have um, a tape, which is going on top of the roof, then to the wall and then to the ground. So that is the copper tape. And then on the wall, we have some clips holding the tape. So that is also copper clips. And then in the ground, we have two components. We have the um, copper mat, which is, yeah, you know, four square. There's a bigger one depending on the size of your know, building you are installing that for. And then also we have the pure copper um, earth electrode. So those are the components that are being used for this standard conductor solution. So um, a little research about tanders, I'm sure you might probably wonder what are tanders, how do they combine so on. So based on a little research that I made, I discovered that the you know the clouds are sometimes you know have these electrical charges and when that happens, there's the need to discharge those electrical, you know, charges. And one way is through the, you know, thunder um, or lightning, yes. And when that happens also, there's, um, thunders, the thunder is looking for the fastest possible way to reach the earth or the soil. So then it is going to be doing that through metals or any good conductors of electricity. So like human beings, yes. Human beings are very good conductors of electricity. That is how come sometimes you might hear that people are struck by thunder and some die some you know get and paralyzed and and so on yes and then also when there's a thunder strike one of the things you should avoid is an umbrella especially those words you know there's metallic pole in there because once there's the strike it channels through that it gets to you the human being probably it's going to be you know fatality um, out of that so the thunder conductor or the arrestor on top of the uh, the roof is basically serving that purpose. So once there's a strike and it's going to attract it and then it is going to channel it into the soil so that we don't have any component in the house, you know, getting affected um, by that. Um, aside from that, also during the installation, fortunately I wasn't here when it was installed, but you know, I had to, you know, still find out what went on. So during the installation, um, after passing the copper tape from the Tanda arrestor from the top all the way through to the roofing to the wall and then to the ground. There was also the need to install the mat, the pure copper mat, which is on in the ground, as well as the copper, pure copper um, earth electrode. Now, as part of the materials, when I saw earth electrode, I was like, we already have earth electrode in the house or installed as part of the house. Why is there a need to add an additional earth electrode? So I was told that. Um, it is not advisable to add that to the existing earth electrode because you're trying to isolate, you know, this uh, system that is a con um, tender conductor from the that of the house. You don't want it to have anything to do so. And even I, as part of that, there is also a need to have it distant from the existing 
um, air teller to during the installation of ours we had to take that to the back of the house our already existing um, air um, electrode is on the other side of the house where the polytank you know, um, ha um, is around is on that side so we had to take the new one which is for the tender conductor to the back that is behind the kitchen i'm sure you also be wondering why didn't we um, pass the copper tape through the edge of the roofing actually that is what i wanted but what happened was that the quantity that uh got wasn't enough or sufficient to do that so we had to channel it through the shortest possible path to have that happen and i must say that in the entire thunder conductor system the most expensive part is the copper tape here yeah, because you need a couple of uh, or a quantity of that to be able to um, do whatever you intend to do so for in our case um, when I went to the market to purchase after I had measured I measured about 14 meters and you know a meter is made up by 100 centimeters so that's how you're easily able to measure that so I measured 14 meters however there was a need to have an additional two meters which is going to go into the soil so that you know everything is you know, pro properly grounded so when I went to the market um, all the cost for the thunder conductor solution came up to around 2040 cities and then my workmanship was around 500 cities now the copper tape is sold in meters so as of then one meter was being sold for 120 cities i was able to get that for 100 cities uh, because i was purchasing some electrical materials for a client so i was able to get a discount on that now i purchased only 14 meters instead of 16 meters so i got that for that was 1400 but the additional um, uh, two meters which was sold at the original price which is 126 came at 240 making a total of 1640 cities for just the copper tape and then the others you know um took the uh, remaining amount of money so that has been installed and these are the components that you know was used for the installation once again the very one at the top which is the arrester or tanda arrester which has a three you know um poles and then a very long pole and then something at like the base holding it up and then you have the copper tape which starts from the arrester through a component there and then goes all the way through the roof then to the wall through the clips so you use the clips and then also to the soil to the um, copper mat and then from there also to the um at electrode now at the very top of the roof one of the things that i was very concerned about is how it was going to be installed so i don't end up getting uh leakage i spoke with the electrician about that and then he assured me that he was going to do was so that's not going to you know have any leakage so he used silicone as part of the installation so after he bore holes and then installed the um tender arrester he used silicone around it to prevent any you know water from you know leaking through that side into the roof so that was how he went about the installation this was just a day's work because i shot the material by two meters he had to come there next day to finish it up so he used two days to complete it up for the installation so far yes it has been installed we haven't really had any serious rain since then because i've been looking forward to it you know performance of work and so i'm looking forward to a very serious rain with you know, serious thunder and then i see how that is going to you know play a role in this entire uh, electrical system so that is basically just about it for this video thank you very much for watching and thank you very much also for sticking around and consuming my content you know sharing your thoughts you know the contributions and everything i really really appreciate you Hopefully in the coming year, I'm promising you more great content. And if you have any more ideas or things you think I can do in terms of, you know, real estate, in terms of construction, you can just uh, kind of let me know. And even if you have a property you'd want, you know, as to, you know, discuss, talk about it for, so that other people are able to learn. If you have some challenges you've, you know, encountered, you want to share everything, kindly just reach out to me through the contact details and the description of the video and I'll show or try my possible best to make time so we're able to do that too. Thank you very much again. And once again, Merry Christmas to you and looking forward to a happy new year. So that'll be just about it. Bye for now.